Shabbat Shalom Ambazonia. Today, na Saturday, number 23 day for the month of October 2021. My name is Kapo Daniel, the Deputy Defense Chief of the Ambazonia Defense Forces, aka Sense Pass King. Lukong, una own countryman. We get big information where they come from the Ambazonian Governing Council regarding a big diplomatic meeting where it take place for Hamburg. But first, another La Republic du Cameroon mad dogs it don't be on the loose for Bamenda up station. Report it come say yesterday for evening, two Ambazonian them, the whole one La Republic du Cameroon terrorist forces beat them very well for up station. The thing it happened after the drunken soldier he meet up the two boy them, he begin to harass them, tell them say me they kneel down. The soldier he be the smell alcohol and he no be the talk fine. As he continue for harass the boy them, he push the boy them for one corner, start for engage them into fighting, the boy them hold them, then beat them very well before other La Republic du Cameroon Turks then come for they can intervene. The two boy them they don't be arrested. All civilians the way they be witness the incident, they don't catch them, they don't seize all their phone them, they de hold them for ransom in their police station for upstation Bamenda. This is now one of the many stories where La Republic du Cameroon did is totally disregard the human rights of Ambazonian citizens. While for Boya, the capital of Ambazonia, the Cameroon terrorist Ferdinand Gongo, when I did act on behalf of Mr. Paul Bia as he did for a diabetes, he didn't visit Boya under strong and tight security. Ferdinand Gongo, where he be put on for his itinerary, say he go come visit the family for Caroline, baby Caroline, where La Republic du Cameroon, the gendarme, they be brutally murder he on the way for school. He done be disgrace, as the family of baby Caroline, they don't refuse for visiting or for accepting me, come visit them for their house. Um, the family of Caroline, he done show the Ambazonia people, say we need for always uphold our dignity and, and not for sell ourselves cheap for our oppressor and the killers of our children. Ferdinand Gongo, he done turn back for Yaoundé with disgrace from the family of Caroline, where he done hold the grass for uplift Ambazonia dignity. La Republic du Cameroon, why did they continue for try to cover up their crime? They done leave the other gendarme, when are then two, be be in that illegal pursuit of this innocent family. Me the worker still in service for the same boya. The other gendarme, na a terrorist, na an accomplice for the murder of baby Caroline and should be behind bars as an accomplice for the crime for the killing of baby Caroline. Yet, over 40 of our youth in Boya have been kidnapped by the Cameroon Occupation Forces for ransom. We call on their immediate release and we call on our people in Boya to continue to rally themselves and choose the path of self-defense to defend and protect our territorial integrity and the life of our people from Cameroon terrorism. In other news, the Supreme Commander of the Ambazonia Defense Forces, General Efang, aka Big Number, he done visit the great state of Momo. General Efang, he just come off for Momo for visit the community school, two of them, where the Ambazonia Governing Council Educational Board, he done just open them for inside the great state of Momo. This school, he done get over 150 children them into our classrooms. Level three. Those who were in class four, five, and those who entered class six and came out. <clears throat> the Ambazonian Education Board is the type of accommodate picking them where they no be done go school for a long time. We must train our own children. Education now the right for the children them. Even during war time, as we stabilize and liberate our homeland, we need for start for implement the transitional authority setting prototype institutions them for help stabilize our our villages and our liberated area while we fight to liberate the rest of Ambazonia. La Republic du Cameroon have been defe defeated. We control statically over thirty percent of our national territory and eighty percent of our national territory is under direct Ambazonia dynamic control. All La Republic du Cameroon government school are banned, are forbidden in Ambazonia. 
while we call on all mission and Christian schools, religious schools, private schools, to contact the governing council and work with other Ambazonian liberation movement to attend the status of community school so that we, we can educate our own children for the future of Ambazonia, to equip them to be able to fight for Ambazonia in the future. We must, as a people, uphold the four pillars of our revolution. One, observing the Monday ghost town. Every Monday, all Ambazonia, they must stay at home to demonstrate for the war, so they want complete separation and outright independence for our territory, the southern British Cameroon, Ambazonia. Number two, the denier of political participation for La Republic du Cameroon governing system. That means say, we must deny make no man in no turn up for inside La Republic say it represents we like an elected official or any constituent representative for inside La Republic. The same way we will be come up for Enugu, time will be there together with Nigeria will succeed by all our parliamentarians leaving the Eastern House legislature. We then ask our parliamentarian senator make no man in no stand for La Republic to represent Cam Ambazonia. We must continue to deny them and make sure all those who violate this law, this pillar, fundamental rule of our liberation, should be arrested. Intelligence are needed for violators to this law. Number three, the boycott of Cameroon produced goods and tax paying to La Republic du Cameroon through commercial activities. The banning of the brasseries being a very symbolic ban to reinforce the same. Ambazonians should stop the production of any plantation like the CDC or the exploitation of our natural resources that empowers La Republic du Cameroon to fight us in battle. It is also worth noting that the doubling declaration by the Ambazonia Governing Council advises Ambazonians within La Republic du Cameroon to carry out sabotage operations within the bounds of international law to cripple La Republic's economy and deny it the ability to wage war in our homeland. Number four, the banning of all La Republic du Cameroon colonial outposts, government offices in, in, in Ambazonian sovereign territory, all foreign institutions run by La Republic du Cameroon, an activity sponsored or promoted by La Republic du Cameroon, a foreign country within Ambazonia, are banned. These are actions that violate our territorial integrity and should be considered as state aggression against sovereign Ambazonian territory. Ambazonian self-defense forces all across the territory should bring down all buildings being used by the Cameroon government to erect administrative buildings and military outposts. In addition to this, our citizens are forbidden to collaborate with La Republic du Cameroon in its imposition of its law in our territory. All those who collaborate with the Cameroon military or provide intelligence to them or become spies are thereby labeled black legs. During this period of war, our citizens are forbidden from engaging into love relationship and friendship with the Cameroon military as they have exploited such contacts for intelligence gathering. Any friendship with La Republic du Cameroon occupation forces will be a cause of concern and a national security matter to be investigated. Citizens can be questioned or arrested for questioning if such encounters are made. Our citizens should avoid any place that La Republic du Cameroon military step their foot in. That place automatically becomes a battlefield. Ambazonian citizens are forbidden to report cases to La Republic du Cameroon military or police force and should report hideout of La Republic du Cameroon military within our national territory and their officials that represent their state within Ambazonia. Such information and intelligence are very crucial to the liberation of our homeland. Citizens must do their duty to defend our territorial integrity as a matter of survival. On the diplomatic front, the president of the Ambazonian Governing Council, Dr. Cho Ayaba, leader of our liberation war, have announced on a Twitter the return back home to his Norwegian resident after a day of diplomatic visit in Hamburg, Germany. The Ambazonian Governing Council led an Ambazonian delegation, including the Vice President of the Ambazonian Governing Council, Dr. Julius Nee, to Germany to meet with the Switzerland envoy and ambassador, Bechler 
alongside the HD representative and other third party, they had an intense five-hour meeting that follows up the previous meeting that was held in Norway called by Dr. Chu Ayaba. There was frank presentation about any progress that was made by the Swiss Zalan HD and their engagement with La Republic du Cameroon to secure a negotiated settlement or a negotiation table for the resolution of Ambazonian's war for liberation. No progress was made. The Ambazonian Governing Council maintains that no negotiation that will not guarantee the inclusion of other third state parties can be accepted. Negotiations for Ambazonian's independence can only come about as a negotiated settlement that includes the backing of the United Nations, a negotiation that can be in enforced, a negotiation whose platform must be able to produce and attain the aspiration of our people for separation and outright independence for the territory of southern British Cameroon, Ambazonia. The Ambazonian Governing Council will not commit to any negotiation process that cannot and will not produce independence for the people of British Southern Cameroon, Ambazonia. All negotiation should be collective in nature, and all those who engage in such negotiations should be transparent to the Ambazonian people and open up for scrutiny. Dr. Cho Ayaba, the leader of our War of Liberation, have encouraged our people to focus on their liberation operations to fund the resistance and continue to make La Republic du Cameroon bleed until he abandons our national territory. We must continue to hold grass, chop fire, and continue to advance our cause for liberation movement as we call on our youth across our national territory to join the movement of 1,000 new Amber Boys. Yes, you can do it. Prepare yourself for war. Every Ambazonia, you can do something that only you can do. If you see an opportunity to take down La Republic du Cameroon occupation forces that are responsible for the atrocity and terrorism of state Cameroon against Ambazonian civilians, you have a national duty to do so. We will provide educational material, ammunition for our people to carry out self-defense, protection and liberation of our homeland. God bless you all. Capo Daniel, signing off.